This is a snuff bottle that was uh, passed down from my great aunt Salita and she and her husband traveled extensively probably in the 1920s uh, and they went overseas and they were in the Orient of Fairy Mount. Mm -hmm. To lift up this pink tourmaline cover there's a spoon on the inside to take a little take a little pinch or take a little bit yes. as needed. Well there's a reason why snuff bottles were made so prolifically during the Qing Dynasty in Chinese history. Smoking was illegal. So it was actually came down from the emperor that if you wished to take tobacco you had to do it in snuff form. So a gentleman's snuff bottle became a, a status symbol just like a, a nice watch or a nice piece of jewelry. What's interesting about this snuff bottle in particular is the bottle itself. We can separate it into two components. Okay. If we can look past the embellishment for now and just admire this beautiful white jade snuff bottle, I can tell it comes from the 18th century. Now, during the 18th century, during the Qianlong Emperor's reign, they mined this wonderful milky white nephrite in the western part of China. Okay. This brown pebbling is a feature of the stone that was actually considered very desirable. They didn't like necessarily just the pure white, but this sign of of it being a natural substance and one that has some flaws that gives it character. Snuff bottles of this type were meant to be fingered in the pocket. They were pleasant to kind of play with and you would, you know, if, if you were nervous like or just stone. like a worry stone. Right. During the 19th century though, this very wonderful bottle wasn't quite good enough for the owner. And this was, whether it was taken to Japan or it found its way there by some other means, was embellished with the decoration you see in Japan. Oh, so so two -part this, is, this is a two-part process where an 18th century bottle in the 19th century in Japan, by the use of applied soapstone, okay. hard stone, lapis lazuli, lacquer, and even some seed pearls that you see on the side here, sure. was given this very, very beautiful figural scene with these cherry blossom trees a little child bringing some lingzhi fungus, which is a very lucky symbol to have in the bottle. Interesting. So it's a very fine bottle made even finer during the 19th century, and this is why I think it's so special. Do you have any sense of the value, or have you ever had the, the bottle appraised before? I've never had it appraised, and, and no sense of the value, or even what was paid for it initially. Well, the snuff bottle market is a strong one presently. Okay. I think if this were to come up for auction, in 2016, sure. a conservative and reasonable auction estimate would be four to six thousand dollars. You're kidding! Oh my gosh! I had no idea.